Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. All right, guys, International Stacker. That's the White House right there. I'm in DC for one more hour. I'm coming here to meet a friend and then we're gonna go to the hidden LCS of Washington, DC. What treasures will we find today? <laughs> Spotted. All right, guys, so if you want to find this LCS in DC, you come to the White House. Some, a lot of people call it the front of the White House. And then right here is a square called Lafayette Square. So let's see who we're going to meet up with. Hey, what's up, man? Howdy, howdy. Blue collar gold pockets back again. Oh, are you ready to hit the secret LCS of Washington, D.C.? Yeah, man. I watched the video last night again. <laughs> I'm excited. It's a nice, nice, neat little uh, shop, looks like. Let's go. So, you guys, quick thing for you. If you want to get there, you go to the White House first. You come here to Lafayette Square next to the statue. And then you're just going to follow the path. Alright, so in my last video, some uh, subscribers wanted to know what got you originally into gold and silver coins and collecting coins and all this. I collected everything as a child. I had coins, paper money, uh, stamps, match covers, postcards. I just loved collecting them. So naturally, coins just fit the bill. It did. And when the coins shifted in 65, were you able to take a bunch of silver ones out of circulation? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Did a lot of people do that? They did. But a lot of it got melded as well. Right, when silver went up at the Hunt Brothers, The Hunt Brothers, 1980. Silver was $50 and gold was 800 They said gold was going to go to 1000 and silver was going to keep moving. The next day it collapsed because all the banks called them. Loans in for the Hunt Brothers. They had to right, because so they were saying they're trying to corner the market. Right. Yeah, they were buying it overseas as well as here. So how much percent of the like constitutional silver do you think was melted down? A significant? Millions. Million, millions. I'll take millions. it. <laughs> so really the mintages are way lower now. Because yeah. I had heard this story. Interesting. About Is that whole book just foreign? It's all Canadian. Just Canadian. I have 10 books of foreign if you're looking for any particular oh. country. That's and awesome. this whole case is foreign. Wow. If you want to look through that, I'll have to move everything. No, no, no. It's all for from A to Z. All right, I'll get it. All right, should we put this over on her? So I'm going to get these. I'm not done yet. Okay. I'm going to get these. And you're going to pick up these? Yeah. So Blue Collar's picking up 38 of these. Uh, dimes in great shape. A lot of them look pretty much uncirculated, so that's nice. You guys, there's all kinds of treasures in here that can be had for great prices from a great establishment. Every spring, I always love to go out to Bethesda and start buying Is that my first round of like spring and summer clothes. Yeah. that it comes time that you know, we've got retirement packages and stuff like that, they always wait what happens because... What do you think you could do on these if I pick, I remember, if I pick up 12 of them? I remember someplace that they were talking about how it is that, you know, all of the people that used to work for the auto industry. Three bucks a Sounds good. Detroit. You guys, we're just, ta we're just talking about the sixpences <laughs> over here. How when you get married, you're supposed to get one to put in the shoe. And I said, when I get married, I'm giving my wife a clad sixpence and keeping the silver for myself. What do you think? What do you think, Blue Collar? You I like think that? you're a genius. <laughs> I've got Swiss of America. i got Swiss of America rounds, little nuggets. There's all the Illuminati buttons. Hey, ready for this? Fiat coinage. All over here looking at postcards. Said he's gonna send me a postcard when I go back to Saudi Arabia. Isn't that thoughtful? What do you think of this shop, man? Oh, this is great, man. There's there's such a collection. So unique. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate see you. See you on the next trip. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. You guys take care. You're in good hands. You have a great job. Very unique.
All right, guys. Epic call on that LCS. You guys already saw what we got, but you guys, it was crazy. Such a great time. Blue collar gold pockets got some good stuff. I got some good stuff, guys, and I got some silver under spot. I got some silver in there, 16 cents under spot. So uh, you guys want to come to a historic city, to a shop with some of the coolest people in the industry, some of the nicest people I've ever met, come here to DC to Capital Coin and Stamp Co. Alright guys, I'm about to head to the airport here, catching the after LCS lunch with blue collar gold pockets. You know, you gotta, you work up an appetite when you're haggling, so uh, we're gonna eat up. So what'd you think of the first DC meet and greet? Oh, it was an epic time. You gonna come back to the next one? I'll come back next year for sure. <laughs> Alright guys. International stacker and blue collar gold pockets. Approved. What do we say? Catch, Catch you on, on the, the next, next one. <laughs> You almost got it. I just want to say time, I said one. <laughs>